G'day and welcome to Koshy's Business Builders. Thanks for tuning in to what is actually our final episode for the year. And boy, it's been a great season and we've met a heap of inspiring entrepreneurs who have shared their secrets to success and today is certainly no different. During September, in partnership with Prosper, we search from Broome to Brisbane and everywhere in between for Australia's favourite family business. 20 extraordinary finalists were recognised, but there can be only one winner. The votes have been counted, and I'm pleased to announce that Australia's favourite family business for 2021 is Honey's Bakehouse from Western Australia. Honey's Bakehouse was founded in 2016 by husband and wife team Brent and Abby Honey. Their bakery is based southeast of Perth in the suburb of Rollystone, a small, tight knit community. Baking is a Honey family tradition. Brent was first inspired and taught by his uncle and father. Today, Honey's Bakehouse is best known for producing a delicious range of handmade breads, pastries, pies and cakes, and a large range of vegan treats, all baked by Brent. I've been a baker for 20 years and uh, I've worked at supermarkets and plant bakeries where you, you make the same thing day in, day out. And I always talk to myself and go, how cool would it be if we did this? So now we're an independent business, we can literally do whatever we want. So it sort of gives you free reign to try different things whenever you like and give something different for the customers. When they come to Honey's Bakehouse, they can expect to get some traditional bakery delights like vanilla slice, apple turnovers, and then they can get some different sort of stuff like apple crumble Biscoff cronuts, deep fried vanilla slice, nacho Turkish bread. Plus, it's been a lot of fun to try and come up with different stuff for our vegan friends. We had a customer come in and she, she said, I just want to get my product in a white bag just like everybody else. And that really stuck with me. So but it's sort of made it a bit more a bit more of an effort. We've done like jackfruit pies. It's basically looks like a shepherd's pie. And if we gave it to you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Same as we're doing like a, a spinach and ricotta sausage roll, and that's made with tofu. So that sort of stuff's been lots of fun. I first discovered my love for baking when I was a kid. My parents have had bakeries, uh, pretty much grew up in the bakery. There are definite perks to be married to a baker because <laughs> I love bread. <laughs> We hand mould every loaf of bread is made by hand. There's and, no machines. And even the crazy breads that Brent does, all the crazy cakes and the crazy ideas, it's all still by hand. It is a novelty in itself to physically see in our shop from our customers. The local community love that they can see what Brent's doing and they can have a chat to him while he's making something. It gives us an opportunity to, to chat with the customers, get some more ideas and provide them with what they want instead of me just guessing. It's uh, pretty beneficial to be small and, and make it all by hand. But we also want our kids to know that baking is, it's an old tradition, it's by hand, it's a dying trade, and this is how it was, and this is how your dad learnt, this is how your granddad learnt. The board's just taken off, that's just a mind of its own now, like uh, people send through their jokes, yes. or, yeah, it's definitely taken off. I just thought, well, what, you know, just be a little bit different. Everyone does specials every day, why not just try and make someone laugh and Hopefully it makes their day a little bit better. People come out the front of the shop, whether they come in or not, they just come out so they can take a photo of the board and then they leave. <laughs> Every small business needs that support of some kind of community. It is what drives your business. They are what keeps you in business. As well as supporting the bakery, they've supported some charities that we've, we've chosen to support. Um, my mum passed away from cancer. So every year we do like a daffodil day where every bit of money from that day goes to the Cancer Council. And everybody really does come together to, to support us and to help us raise more money every year. It's not just our family business, it's Rollystone's family business and we're very, very lucky to be in Rollystone. Well, thank you to everyone who entered this year's Australia's Favourite Family Business Competition. We'd also like to thank our partner Prosper, who helped make all of this possible. We have Bo Batoli, the co-founder of Prosper, here with us today. Uh, Bo, I know you're passionate about helping small business, so great to have you aboard on this competition. So what attracted you to the competition? Oh, it really comes from us having been small business owners uh, many times over and yeah, we've built Prosper up now to support over 30,000 Australian small businesses 
So tell us about how you help everyday business. You know, so many business owners are unable to take advantage of opportunities or to grow their business because they don't have access to working capital. Uh, we wanted to change that. So um, at Prosper, we've now lent out over $2.1 billion in the last nine years. Wow. Um, usually around about $30,000 a pop uh, in terms of loan sizes. Um, and we've supported almost every industry and state right across the Australian market. And this is where small business comes to its own in adversity. Honey Bakehouse in WA, our winner, is a classic example of that, a great business. It really is, and you know, it's the, the real case in point. It's a great example of your, your typical Australian family business. Um, you know, there are 2.4 million you know, Honey Bakehouses across Australia. Um, we really are a small business economy. Um, obviously, the, the um, campaign we've run here is just fantastic. It's great to see examples like Honey Bakehouse and the, and the other entrants as well. The finalists were, were real standouts. Um, so a big congratulations, obviously, to, to Honey Bakehouse. Um, but it really does show, you know, the strength and the, the positivity that yep. people bring to when they start their, their business and when often they pass it on through their generations yep. as well. And thank you for supporting them. Good Absolute to see you, Absolute pleasure. Both. Good to see you thank too, you. David.